So we have the three year trilogy competing back. You're back in the national selection with a new um, uh, You've been participating in the past selections or also you went to the European Song Contest. Um, why you're back in the selection? Who's first? Well, basically it was I think it was a good time to come back. We had a lot of requests. Uh, from people telling us, oh, we miss trilogy, we really miss your songs, we really miss your sound. So, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we thought it a good time to come back, and this was a very special Eurovision year, for example. Being and on that stage. Being on that stage is truly a privilege. I think I think PBS did a really great job with the stage, and I feel very lucky, we feel, I think, very lucky to be, to be uh, performing on this. And basically what happened was that uh, Ludwig and I had a rehearsal for another concert and uh, I had already been dreaming about the third one, about trilogy for, for coming back and uh, this would happen our fourth time actually. And uh, so I asked Ludwig, Ludwig, what do you think about trilogy coming back? And he said, wow, yeah, I think it's a good idea. I don't know, but you're going to be, I want you to be in it. So, so. so what was your reaction when he said this? At first, I said, I mean, it's, it's a good idea, but I, I, I was thinking that, that trilogy with, with, another, with another member because um, I knew that Daniel, Daniel had stopped singing, I mean, got married and... And uh, so I said, are you interested? I don't know, are you, are you for real? And he said, listen, what, what, what do you think about it? I, just, I think it would be... a, a a brilliant idea because I mean we're, we're, we have been working together de together for ages in the, in the musical theatre scene so uh, I mean so we knew I, I, I knew that our voices were going to blend um, I sang to tell them all a million times sang to two or a million times and so so it was and we I still know each other quite yes yes yes, 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 friends I mean we're, we're friends because we, we work I mean all year round in theatres and, and, the, and the musicals. Mm -hmm. Eleanor, you've been working as a trilogy and also as a solo singer and you participated in a number of other editions of this selection. Also, the same, always the same writing team, Paula Bella and Giorgio Nefarugia. What can you tell us about this experience with these renowned writers and more? Well, I mean, I've known them for since Giorgio, since Giorgio, for the last, I mean, couple of years. four entries in Eurovision, and so, so much experience. It's, it is a privilege to be working with him and what's more is that both Paul and Joe Julian sort of were also involved in the original creation of Trilogy. So they know exactly what the concept is all about, they know exactly what songs uh, have to, they have to write for Trilogy, what kind of lyrics and, and what we want to sound like. So there's a lot of sort of uh, synchronization between us and them. So first, the, the trio regrouped, you had Ludwig back, and then you wrote the song with, with, with Paul and George Julia. Can you tell us about the story? How long did it take to write the song, Chasing It? Oh, it was, it was a bit funny because um, Joe kept, kept email, emailing us these, these beautiful lyrics. But then couldn't decide on the name. It was without the name. <laughs> but chasing something, chasing what? And then uh, we're going to go for a for a one word uh, for a one word name. And then we, we we got this one word name, which which I don't remember anymore. And uh, we googled it, and it was another Eurovision song, which was which was placed with the top five. And uh, so it was really funny. Then we went to the studios. Um, uh, after a few few laughs and, and a few drinks, and um, we started recording, and uh, and then we wanted to create. Even even Paul Paul was um, Paul is a musical genius. I mean himself, but 
he, he wanted something even fresh and told us, listen, I'm going to leave you in the studio to create something of your own. What do you think? It's, 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 it's good for, for the group. And then uh, I will come back to the studio, we'll listen to everything, and then we'll do everything together. And uh, we came out with this beautiful, beautiful piece. But I think the first thing that we did before we actually talked about the song was that when we met together, we said we need to take Trilogy into a new direction from the previous yes, entries. Definitely. So we, we knew that Ludwig is going to make us sound different. We knew that we, we wanted a certain sound and in fact we have reached the sound that we really want. And we said as a genre, as a style, we're still going to keep the idea of crossing over from classical to, to modern or pop music, but it's not going to be pop music as such. We want it to be symphonic rock. So it's going to be, a, the, the, the style is specific. It's symphonic. much darker now. It, it is a more sort of aggressive trilogy. So that's what we're going to expect from trilogy this year. Yes, the, right. the, yes you're not going to uh, see the old trilogy with long dresses, mm. with ball gowns. I'm not going to see that anymore. Roger with tails and and and, and bow ties and and Ludwig with the with the cravat and the height and all that. Does it make a difference? No, I did not make the difference. I mean, trilogy made made the whole difference. I mean, it's, no no one no one is bigger than the group. The, the group the group itself it's it's huge. But I mean, without me or without Helen or without Roger, there's no trilogy. So you're singing number eighteen. Eighteen. Quite late, and um, do you think it's an advantage to sing late in the running order? Do you see it as an advantage? Does it affect you actually the, the, the running order number? I really don't know. I mean, um, we're used to having long shows when we have a, a long concert or, a, or a, a whole musical. We're used to starting and not finishing, and you're always on basically. You have uh, three hours of. of being on stage, on and off stage, singing, acting, dancing, so we have a, quite a lot of stamina for a long show, so I think we can, and we're waiting for our three minutes or so, but we, have, we just have to see, I mean, we have a, a first rehearsal, a first run on Friday, and Friday morning, and, and then we'll see, but I don't think it's going to be. we'll just have a longer chat, uh -huh. probably. I'll have and more coffee, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so can you sing a part of your song that you will sing on Friday and hopefully you will sing on Saturday? <clears throat> All my life chasing a dream It craves under my skin Unafraid to show the world I won't ever give in Till we try again When walls have fallen Till each morning sun Means freedom's calling wow. Very good, good luck. Maybe we'll see you again. We hope so. <laughs> <laughs>